All right, what's up, guys? <laughs> this is my third time doing commentary for this video. I hope that God damn it works. Anyways, this is a this is something different. It's not COG or AOV. It's a Chinese MMO. In my opinion, it's probably the best MMO, mobile MMO on the market at the moment. Too bad it's all in Chinese, but I want to show you guys uh, how goddamn good it is, to be honest, and how similar it is to WoW. So, just watching the trailer, the CGI, obviously the CGI is always well done in any game to, to lure people and to scam them. But uh, I just wanted to show like how, like, how much they copied from WoW. Like, look, look at this. This is like literally an orc, man. For the horde, guys. Not an orc, but yeah, you know what I mean. Anyone for the horde? Yeah, so. Yeah, like, they copied bit. Like, if you've played WoW before, you'll recognize that everything from this game is literally from WoW. They, it, it should just be called WoW Mobile, man. And here I'm just gonna show some of the classes. You know, you, you can pick from race and gender, like elf, night elf. And uh, yeah, obviously there's some nine classes to pick from, like in WoW original. And they can all specialize, so you know, here are some spells. And this is a ninja. What do you call it? Yeah. What do you call it? Rogue in WoW, yeah. Is a warrior, and then moving on to some classes I'm more familiar with. Um, mage, fire mage, ice mage, and then there's also uh, this ice block, and there's fire and ice mage together. It's pretty cool. It's warlock, there's like different warlocks. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys a dungeon. I play um, battle mage. Well, it's translate battle mage, but it's not really a battle mage. I'm just playing a DPS mage that uses like Arcana. Uh, I can go tank as well, but anyways, I'm gonna show you guys the DPS. Queuing up for two dungeons. I hope we get the harder one because it's it's more interesting. And I will just show you guys around while we wait for the queue because you know I'm a DPS feels bad. I always have to wait for the queue. See, this is my cute little mount, and you can see the, the main city is it's pretty familiar to something in WoW, no? Something that starts with S-T-O-R-M and ends with uh, N-D. Yeah, it looks like Alliance to me. I'm gonna turn on the graphics higher. I like to play with low graphics because it's less distracting this way, but obviously high graphics for the video, man. And like, this is the third time I've recorded this, so I'm so tilted right now. I didn't play like ranked today in a KOG, so I'm like, I'm self-cucking myself making this video. So yeah, bear with me. I just wanted to show you guys how good this game is. Like, if you've ever played WoW before, this, this game is just, it scratches that WoW itch, you know? I'm showing some mounts here, the map. We're going to go to a questing zone. Yeah, if you've played WoW before, but you can't play anymore, but you still want to raid, this is like a really good game. So you see this map, it's very similar to like the aesthetics and art style of, of WoW. Like, you know, there's stuff on the ground you can pick up. Like in WoW, like with WoW, you can gather herbs and do your fishing, and it's the same here. You have professions. And on these professions, you know, you can do like uh, cloth armor, you can do fishing, cooking, and yeah, you can make weapons. It looks, it's literally, there's my eye level I'm showing, like look at these items. It's, I have an eye level of 199, which is all right. Not very, very high, but good enough to play a lot of end game stuff. 255 is the top eye level at the moment, I think. Um, yeah, dungeon finally pops. Some guy does not accept. Oh, nice. So, 
I think, we, yeah, we get the the boring dungeon. I wanted to show the harder one, but I guess we'll do this one. But it's fine. Usually at the beginning, they like to kick people because, you know, people have gone lazy in this game. That's like the one kind of disadvantage or flaw of this game. Okay, so, so we go straight into the boss and you can see he pulls all the ads and you know I'm doing crazy deeps. But yeah, so this dungeon I think is for an eye level 170, but we're probably all 190 eye level or above, 200 eye level even. So this is like the thing I don't like, is that everyone has been gotten really impatient in this game. So there, there is a stacking mechanic. And there's some mechanics that we skip like straight up because like you know it's just we're so over here. It's it's pretty annoying to be honest. Like like I remember in WoW, like you would have to do this dungeon with five people, four other people, and everyone would be at the same eye level and barely be able to pass it. But in this game you just man. Everyone's like too like spoiled and entitled and too lazy so they just want to get through the dungeon fast. So as you can see we we are steamrolling through this dungeon. The boss is already at 50% and I don't think we had to even sweat man or see a single mechanic. At least we're doing good DPS which is nice. That's why I wanted to show you guys like the, the second dungeon because it's much harder than this one. And maybe, but the, this dungeon lo is pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. I, I I remember when I first did this dungeon, it was actually hard to me. So here he has a big AOE. I'm trying to find, so I'm in the safe spot. And people are dying because this is going back to what I said before. It's everyone's so entitled, and they don't actually know the mechanics of their classes or the dungeons anymore. So they just yeah. I had to hear like the slime chases me, I have to run away from it, otherwise it turns me into a slime. But you can see I'm doing the top DPS. I probably don't have the highest item level here, but I actually care about the mechanics of my classes and I do a good rotation. And I used to play WoW before, so yeah, I mean, I do the top DPS and this boss is gonna die. I would like to, you know, if I could replay this game, I would have liked to play with like five people with all shit eye level and see how it goes. Anyway, so yeah, we pretty much steamroll through this. And, and um, I think my audio gets cut out here, which is a shame, but I hope it gets fixed. I think it's fixed. Yeah, anyways, just a bit about my class I'm playing. So I'm playing uh, what we call Bio Mage, and it's not really a Bio Mage. It's, I've got these orbs under my HP mana bar. As you can see, I've got four orbs. And uh, the entire idea is that my passive is that um, the more orbs I have, the more damage I do on all of my spells, but it costs more mana. So I've got my S1, which is an orb generator, and the more orbs I have, of course it does more damage, but also lowers the cooldown on it, so the cast time. So this is like, wow, you have spells that have cast time, and you have global cooldowns, GCD, like in WoW. So you can speed both up with haste, and um, my S2, is an AOE, as you can see, it just did 75k. And this spell, um, it, it uh, spends all of your orbs. It does, yeah, but it has no cast time. My S3 is polymorph. It doesn't work on bosses, but uh, on bosses, it makes them take extra damage. My S4 is an AOE on the ground, doesn't do that much damage, but every two seconds it generates an orb for me. And people under the orb, I mean people under the AOE will take a bonus 20% damage. I forgot if it's they reduce MR or if it's, uh, anyways, it doesn't matter. And uh, if I spend orbs while under the, 
If I spend orbs, it lowers the cooldown of that by the number of orbs. So if I had four orbs, it would lower the cooldown by four seconds, which is nice. And then my S5 is a teleport that also frees me from CC. And my S6, which I just did there, gives me mana back every second, every minute. And my S7, which is this laser that I'm doing, is uh, it get you can make three, you have chances to proc it whenever you use a spell. And if you proc it, then you can cast it. And, uh, and there's two ways to play this class. One is uh, you use the laser whenever you have full orbs. So it does a lot of damage. As you can see, it's doing like 30k a tick. But it spends, a, it, it costs so much mana, right? So the other thing you could do is use it when you have no orbs or low orbs. And actually, what, if you cast the full three seconds of the laser, you get an orb back. So you could play it like uh, as an orb generator. But in my opinion, it's more fun to do big damage. So I use it um, at the top when I have max orbs. So it does like, you know, like 150k with one laser, probably more. And then let's talk about my alt. So it's basically bloodlust, right? Some classes have a global bloodlust, but my class, uh, if I pop it, I don't. I no longer consume orbs, so I could spam my S two. And uh, my S four makes my S two not have a cooldown. So yeah, you'll see here that I'll spam my pet skill, and then I'll spam my alt. And then I'll spam uh, my laser and I'll do insane damage. So watch here. I'm gonna pop and look, look at this damage, man. Insane damage. Literally everyone, 400K just like that, man. Yeah. So that's the fun thing about the MMOs, right? You get to DPS like crazy. And I shoot up to the top of the DPS. And the thing is, like these two other DPS, they're like higher eye level than me, but they're just shit because they don't care about the game or they, they're just too lazy. So that's why they're doing less DPS, like the, their DPS is so low. All right, so this is the final boss, right? I really enjoyed this boss because she has a lot of movement check and uh, she has quite a lot of mechanics, mine under leveled, but now we're just gonna go like brain dead through. But the, the whole idea is you have to stay in the middle because she knocks you away from the middle. And there's like a, there's like a sumo ring outside. So if you fall out of the ring, you die. But since we overgear this by so much, there's, we won't see that mechanic. I don't know how I die here. Like it's just, what happened, man? All I know is two other people died randomly, which is just, uh, that's why I'm going back to like, this is why I said before, people are so entitled in this game and too lazy to learn the mechanics. I really enjoyed this fight. There's a lot of movement. And bombs are pretty nice to look at. And so um, in WoW, we had like, uh, you had like heroic and mythic difficulty, right? So this would be like heroic ability, like heroic. And then there's mythic version of this, which has harder mechanics or more. But back to what I was saying, I have the eye level to do the mythic version of this, but they'll just kick me because they see my eye level is not, is not like super high. It's just so annoying. You see, like, look at my damage. I'm almost going to do twice their damage. And like, like they have higher eye level than me. So yeah. That, that's like the one big flaw of this game. But it's a mobile game, so what can I say? Like, you know, I've been playing this like for a month, really enjoyed it, have a smurf as well. It's just fun to do my rotations and just do damage. So uh, this fight is gonna go really slow because these two DPSs have not revived and they're just, what are they thinking, man? Just come on, revive and then just get this over with. They're making the situation worse for people. 
now people are more likely to kick low item level people out. But anyways, yeah, so I know the tank and the healer are very overgeared, so we're just gonna slowly grind this down. Still always a movement check. And all oh, here I have to go to the middle because she's gonna do an explosion. Yeah, I really enjoyed this boss. It's it was actually pretty fun. And I hope the sound doesn't cut out here. But if it does, oh well. I'm not gonna redo this recording, man. It's the third time. I can't even talk anymore. And uh let me know guys if you wanna see like other content or other Chinese games. I can cover any of them. Um, next week, there will be some beta testing for DNF, Dungeon Fighter Mobile, and also a near, well, we call it Dragon Raja, but it used to be based on near Automata, a crazy MMO, better looking than Black Desert Mobile, just insane. It, it, the, that, mo that MMO was so, it's just so mind blowing. So I hope I can get some footage of that. And this week there's been some beta testing for Overwatch Mobile. Well, it's not Overwatch, but anyways, it's very similar, but it's for Android only. And then also Auto Chess is going under Android testing. But uh, yeah, I can't get my emulator to run, so too bad. Here the, here the tank should have pulled towards this side, but it's fine. It's about to die this boss. And I won't get any item love. I won't get any items from this because uh, I've overgeared this so much, which is very sad. I only do this for the Paragon experience. What do you call it in WoW these days? What's that? What's that thing called? Artifact power, I think. Yeah. So it's, I'm just doing this for artifact power. Very sad, you know. When his boss dies, get the loot. Of course, none of it is an upgrade for me. And let's see what else we can see in this game. Let's look a bit through the menus. Hooray, me doing the most damage. Monka W. Uh, this is, uh, we had, there's island expeditions in this game. Pet battles. Literally, wow, man, like. Spells have runes on them, and you can customize your spells. And, uh, yeah, there's a transmog system. These are the cosmetic weapons, but you can also transmog into weapons you found before, like more thematic, you know, to the lore. Really nice. I really enjoyed the transmog system. Wow, it took like nine years to do it, man. So yeah, I'm using a setup from from an event. All the armor looks nice too, you know. Really fun. Um, I forget what I was doing. Yeah, so here's some mounts. You know, like typical, like wow, there's some really fun mounts. It's a new mount, really nice. This is a <laughs> that's a cool mount. I would get that one. So yeah, um, I think this video is wrapping up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're winning some games in COG as well. Uh, this is some Guild Wars. And uh, yeah, so far in COG, Marco Polo seems pretty broken. Lee Sin Jungle is broken. Uh, we call him Yang Jian in Chinese. And yeah, this video is going to end. So hope you guys enjoy your day. Enjoy the video and see you guys next time.